Welcome to the third of my concise NetHack videos about ascending a wizard character in NetHack. In the previous video, I took my wizard character from the castle level through the Valley of the Dead and then through Vlad's Tower, but I ended up a little worse for the wear. I'm running a pre-release version of NetHack 3.7, and the boss characters, in fact, the entire game is buffed up, and the bosses are stronger, including Vlad. And so I used to be experienced level 16, I believe, and he level drained me uh, down to experience level 14. I have no blessed potion of restorability now, so I need to go back to my stash and hopefully have a, re a restorability there. So my plan for this video is not to proceed any further deeper into the dungeon until I gain some strength. I need to recover my experience levels. I need to gain some more experience, need to beef up my hit points, and just be a little bit more prepared. Because this character, in my opinion, is too weak to uh, ascend without some, some strengthening. So, um, those of you that don't want to see me strengthen my character, you may not want to watch this video, and you may want to skip right to the fourth of the video series, and you'll see me pick up from this level and proceed on down. <clears throat> Uh, wizards get teleport control. They get that in intrinsic when they are experience level 17. I don't have a teleport, a ring of teleport control, so I cannot level port reliably up to my stash. So I'm left with climbing the stairs all the way up till I get to experience or to uh, dungeon level 16. Now I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. I'm going to pause the video and I'll zip upstairs. Uh, get to my stash, and then I'll explain what I'm going to do next. Okay, I'm back to my stash level now. Let me re uh, review what I just did. I came up a few levels, and I found a uh, level teleport trap. Now, I didn't have tel level teleport control, but I thought maybe the chances were I'd get closer to the trap. So I um, stashed my um, quest artifact, the Eye of Aethopica, which I believe gives magic resistance, and I wielded my bare hands uh, because I have magic bane, and I stepped onto the level teleport trap, and uh, but I still had magic resistance. It wasn't until that point that I realized that my cloak is not a cloak of protection like I said I was going to get. I used a wish to get a cloak I thought of protection, but I actually typed magic resistance. That's my mistake. Hopefully I can find a cloak of protection because that's my uh, preferred, it's part of my preferred ascension kit. But if I don't, I might use a wish to get one or I may just stick with my cloak of magic resistance. We'll see. But anyway, I stepped on that uh, teleport trap, level teleport trap and it took me to dungeon level 19 where my stash was on 16. So that was I was in pretty good shape. My first order of business here in my stash will be to see if I can get a blessed potion of restorability. Um, take off my ring of levitation. My stash, I should mention, uh, I love to find a altar somewhere between le dungeon level 10 and dungeon level 20. Um, ideally, it has a, a, a situation where I can get my junk pile right next to the altar and then I typically put a boulder on the junk pile to keep most monsters from disturbing it and um, then if I have a spare scroll of scare, of scare monster I'll drop it there too. And why am I so concerned about that is because this uh, junk pile is not just junk. I also have a large box or a, a crate here that I keep my good stash in. So if if, I mean, I've got a whole bunch of junk here, but one of the items I have, you saw it there at the end, um, is I have my, I got a, a large box containing 127 items. So, uh, was there a scroll of Scare Monster here? I don't remember. Looks like I don't have one dropped there, but I'll often do that to keep giants from moving the boulder and getting into my stuff. Um, all right, so if I just do a meta L or an alt L here, I only have one container here. I don't put any other large boxes or bags here. So I can take out 
let's look at uh, post. Actually, I'm not going to do that. The first thing I do when I get home is I drop my X, uh, shift capital X to drop anything where I haven't BUC uh, identified it. I don't have any of that, so I'm going to take the things that I've stashed out of my bag. Let's look what I have in my bag. I've got a bunch of gold. I don't need to carry $3,000 of gold. So root M dollars. How much? I'm going to put in about $3,000. And I'll stash the rest. IB stash dollars. Okay. I'll loot. What else do I have in my back? I in my bag. I be out all. I have some amulets. Let's take them all out. Drop them all on the altar. And uh, the amulet of life saving is not cursed. The other two amulets are cursed. Um, I would like to drop them. This is a stash area here. Uh, I would drop, but I don't like to drop cursed um, items in my, I said stash, I meant poly pile. So I will, uh, for now, I'm going to stash these two cursed amulets and I'll remove the curse on them with all my other cursed items all at once. Actually, for first, let me look at, uh, I'm going to type plus. I have a remove curse. It's a clerical spell. Let me see how good I am at clerical spells. Alt E at uh, clerical I am skilled at clerical I believe that at cler at uh, skilled at clerical when I cast remove curse it will remove curse on all the items in my main inventory so I'm just going to hold on to those guys for a while out all what else do I have this cursed helm of opposite alignment and I've got some scrolls I'll not take the I'll out okay I'd be out scrolls um, let's take all the scrolls out except the teleportation. I need to buck identify these guys. Drop P, but not those guys. So we'll drop all the scrolls, and I've got a blessed scroll of remove curse. Maybe I'll, that'll do, that'll be as good as casting remove curse. I'll pick everything up. I'll loot in. And I'll put everything in, except I'll hang on to that remove curse. I'll use it here in a minute. And again, here's my spell book of magic mapping. I had to use a wish for that. Stash, stash Z. I'd be out of my bag. Let's take out all the potions, except I always like to carry at least one holy water. And I'm carrying a couple of full healings. That's good. Let's take everything else out. Um, drop P. Okay, and I have a blessed potion of full healing. I'm going to go ahead and quaff that guy right now. QV, it's blessed. I might as well. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> blessed potions of full healing um, restore level drain. That's great. And it only took me to 15. Maybe it only restores one level. Oh, there's so much I don't know about this game. All right, everything else I'm going to pick up except for the water. Oh, I only picked up the water in potions. A loot in potions. Potions are heavy. You notice how I became burdened when I picked all these up. I'll put them all in for now. And again, taking stuff out of my bag. I've got some some rings. I decided I wasn't going to uh, polymorph my rings anymore. So let's just get some rings out that um, I have not buck identified yet. And L, the polymorph control, I don't need. I don't use regeneration. Rings. And I don't need those. I... I don't need any of these. Okay. Um, I can't hold any more. Let's drop all my rings for now. Get my more rings out of my bag. Okay. I've buck identified all of them. So um, let's pick up the uncursed ones that I don't want to take with me. Put those in my stash just in case I decide I do actually want them at some point. 
Now, these guys are either cursed or good rings that I want to use. Oh, there was a gain strength I don't need. Okay, excellent. That's all my rings. I think one last time I go into my bags, my bag, maybe one or two. These wands I'll keep with me. And my tools, you see the magic marker, the candles for the ascension. And I had, I already had magic markers. I shouldn't have used a wish stone one. I'll take out these guys, unicorn horns. I am going to polymorph them. Drop P. That would be W and DZ. Okay. What else have I got in my bag? Got a whole bunch of gems. Okay. More gems. All MP gems. And one more. Okay, now I want to read my scroll of Remove Curse. Eh, I'm not. I'm going to save it. Uh, I think it looks like I already put it in the bag. What I do want to do is get all the cursed items that may be potentially useful out of my stash here. But I don't have a whole lot of extra room in my inventory, so I'm going to drop some things. First thing I'm going to do is drop all of my um, tools, because I use up a lot of space with tools except for E. I'm going to put my lenses in my bag. I doubt I'll ever need them again. Actually, I'll just put them in like I say, I can't talk and type I'll loot stash E. Okay. Uh, drop all my, my uh, tools. Tools I always or typically put in named lo or specific location. My key is in my key is in K and my lamp is in L. And if I drop and pick them up, then they might get new uh, uh, inventory slots. I don't want that. Now I can drop some other things here. Drop all things that I don't care about uncursing. H M O M. I'll loot stash M. I'm never going to use that again. My amulet of flying. Drop all. All right. I can drop my daggers. I'm just dropping things that are not likely needed. VO. I'm not going to drop my lizard course. There's my my uh, spell of remove curse. And I have a tin. I'll loot. In scrolls, that is X. Okay, I'm getting close here, I promise. I don't need my rings. Um, all my wands I can drop. That's good. Now I'm going to loot and pull out all of my uh, cursed items. So I'm going to first um, out shift X, things that I don't know the status of. This was blessed since I wished for it. I don't care about uncursing Dragon Bane. So I have no uncursed items. Loot out cursed. Let's see what I want to pull out cursed. I'm going to say everything except A and B. Cursed unlabeled scrolls are good for a few things. Um, I can use a magic marker and write on them. A cursed scroll of earth is good if you just want a single boulder. Um, and sometimes they keep a cursed uh, unholy water, but uh, those are all the, so now if I say drop C, you can see these are all the cursed items I have, and let's uh, zap R, now if I drop cursed, I have no cursed items, excellent, loot in, shift P, now let's go pick up my stuff, starting with the stuff I care about, the inventory slot where it is, and then the stuff where I don't care about the inventory slot where it is, except for maybe my ring of conflict and res um, levitation. All right, now I've done the preliminary here. I always do these things when I first arrive back at my stash. Next thing is to think about Blessed Potion of Restorability, to, because I think I was experienced level 16 at one time. So let's pull out potions. I have gain ability have no restorability. 
Um, I do have full healing, so I could bless a full healing. I think that'll get, a, get me another uh, level back. I have only six potions of holy water and five potions that could be holy water, but I'll pull out one tea, so one potion of holy water. Yeah, potion C, and I have some full healing here. I'm going to bless all these full healings. So if I look at my potions, I'm going to dip D into W. I'll dip D into W. Okay, let's try queuing D. What are they? It's four blessed potions of full healing D. And I did not get my level back. All right, stash D. I do need a, a uh, restorability. And did you see one? Speed C invisible. I'm checking them all. Gain ability. Okay. Oh, I do have a. There it is. I called it restore. So you have all the things you've named yourself with the Alt N or Meta N command, and then all the things that are fully identified. So there we got restore, and I'll get another potion of holy water. One S. Okay. I'll dip X into Z. Dip X into Z, and Q. Verify that it's blessed, X. Okay, I was wrong. I'd only been up to 15. Okay, now I'm still not strong enough. I'm going to just uh, zap what? C, create monster. C, I got a vampire bat. And zap C, I got a Tengu. Let's wait for him to go on my altar and kill him. He did not leave me a corpse, so I can't sacrifice him. D-E stash E. Oh, um, zap C. You can do this all day. I got a war horse. He's peaceful. So, oh, so I'm going to quiver my daggers and throw a dagger at him. Uh, he neighs, so when a monster makes a noise, in this case he was peaceful, so now he's mad at me. And he'll come and I can sacrifice him. Okay, I did not see a message about hopeful, um, and the other thing I didn't see is a message about four-leaf clover. Hopeful means your prayer time hasn't expired, you can't pray yet. Um, if you sacrifice a strong monster and you don't see a four-leaf clover, it means that um, your luck is maximized. So I am carrying a luck stone in my main inventory. I've sacrificed enough to be to have my luck maximized. Sometimes you'll lose a luck um, point or two along the way. So when you come back to your stash, you want to sacrifice a couple of strong monsters. It, well, if you get a, uh, if, you, if when sacrificing a strong monster, you get a four leaf clover message, then you want to do it again, sacrifice another one. But I'm ready to pray. But I had some potions of water. That's S, so D, J, and Alt, P. And so my now I have five potions of holy water, my regular water, now holy water, and I got a spell book. So let's pick up the holy water. And at this point in the game, I want some holy water with me. I've been carrying one potion in case something got uh, cursed, but I'm going to put a couple more in and that'll stash the Rex. Now this thin, thin spell book, Zap Identify, spell book of Confused Monster. I don't need that spell. Loop stash W. Okay, so now my prayer timeout has been reset, and I cannot safely, safely pray. But the more I sacrifice strong monsters, the shorter that prayer timeout will be. I once played a game where I tried to be, is it an extinctionist? Where... You um, zap C. You uh, kill. Oh, I got a peaceful monster now. I just killed a peaceful monster. You don't want to kill too many. Um, he growled, um, but two is probably okay. I once played an extinctionist game, where, come on, he's digging holes in my wall. D D and. Kick it. Under. I could push the boulder out of the way and drop it, or I could drop it in the air and kick it under. And uh, okay, pick up everything, drop everything, and I got a cursed unlabeled scroll. That's okay. Okay, I once played an extinctionist game as a wizard, doing this for hours. 
zapping and uh, killing, and, and I made it pretty far along. I don't remember. It's been a lot of years, but it was somewhere around, okay, a lizard and a candle. Okay. Don't need the lizard because I'm carrying one. Don't need a candle. Gas spore, he won't hurt me. Well, he did. He took me down 13 or so. Um, anyway, I played for hours, and I got to the point where um, I could cast Create Monster on the, you know, like level one, and no monster would appear because I it made them all extinct. Um, you can only have, what is it, 250-something, or was it 120-something of most monster types. And after that many have been generated in the game, no more will be, except for five dot. Um, um, a few that a few monster types have uh, different limits. Anyway, it's something to do if you ever want to waste a few hours. You can you can uh, play as an extinctionist. Um, so what I did is I would cast Create Monster on level one until it would generate no more monsters, and then move down to level two and cast till it would create no more monsters. And I worked my way down quite a ways. I don't know if I ascended that game, but um, anyway, this is what you do. Fire, fire, kill the cockatrice. If there's ever a chance you're going to pick up a cockatrice, the first thing you do is check for gloves. Typically, you hit the right uh, left bracket key and verify that you're wearing gloves. But if you have gauntlets of power, you can also verify by just verifying that your strength is 25. Now I'll go pick up the daggers I threw, and he did not lead me a course. If he had, I could sacrifice it if I was wearing gloves. Clay golem. So he's going to leave me a bunch of rocks. All right, so what am I trying to accomplish here? I don't want to kill zombies on my altar. They might leave corpses. Uh, what am I trying to accomplish? Um, every time you kill a monster, it might have a death drop. So why don't doesn't the flesh golem come after me? Um, I'm hoping for good stuff in the death drops. I'm also hoping for a nurse or a succubus. I'm a male monster, um, and so I can do the succubus thing. And gain some levels. Um, so looking for nurses and succubi. I don't know if I did a video on nurse dancing. I think I probably did. I did do a video on Fukubai. So far, I'm not getting a whole lot of items here. In my Extinctionist game, I had so many ones of wishing that I couldn't think of what to use them for. Um, lizards, well, first my thought is um, when you zap, you generate monsters which may have items. Um, and so I had so many of every possible thing that I could want that uh, I had everything I needed, obviously. There's no need for me to have any more scrolls. Um, let's see. Peaceful. I've killed enough monsters now that I should be okay. Offer I. This is, yeah, I know I didn't finish my last throw. Okay, I got a Mind Flayer. Zap. So I am wearing a Helmet bril Brilliance, which is a hard helmet, which can protect me from his attack. But a couple things to point out. One is when you see a bad monster, you don't have to panic. You can take your time and think it through. I cast Finger of Death with a 12% failure. Um, so I'm thinking that's still, that's kind of high. I need to 
enchant my Helm of Brilliance. Get that up there. I've got enough magic markers, I can do that. But there's, I don't have to take this guy on. I've got speed boots. Let's step away and open some space between me. Zap F that way, okay. Now, you might want to eat a Mind Flayer until your intelligence is all the way up. I'm wearing a plus two Helm of Brilliance, so my intelligence is at 18. My plus two Helm of Brilliance raises that to 20. I have the same stats, 18, which goes up to 20 for my wisdom. So there's no need to eat this guy because my intelligence is maxed out. So I'm going to go ahead and pick him up. Offer M. Hopeful feeling. Um, I'm going to zap a few more here. I'll stop it. Um... I always put my lizard corpse in my main inventory. I have it under Z for lizard because L is used for other things. So when I sacrifice, when I pick up monsters and walk to the altar, I can just sacrifice whatever is not Z, which is W in this case. Still hopeful, so my prayer timeout hasn't elapsed. D DX, pick them all up. Oh, come on. D the X. Pick everything. I dropped my crossbow bolts that he shot at me on top of the crossbow bolts that he dropped. And then I can pick them up all at once. I'm going to pick up that mummy wrapping because if there are two items in a stack, you have to stop and hit space. So pick up the mummy wrapping. DE. Now when I step on that square, it gives me a message, but I don't have to hit space because there's only one item. There's my nurse. All right, first thing I'm going to do is move away just a little bit. Take off my gloves, my hat, my robe, my armor, and finally my shoes. Now I'm slow. Okay, I'm not clear exactly what happened there. Um, I uh, it, it got out of the game, but it saved it correctly. So I paused, and now I'm started again. I must have hit a key combination that it took as Shift S Y, but I'm pretty sure I didn't hit that. I don't know what I did. Okay, now I'm moving on toward my nurse. Wield minus, barehanded, five dot five dot. Five dot, five dot. Okay, my hit points are at 164. Let's five dot, five dot. Just keep doing this. And, oh, okay, she teleported before she bumped my maximum even one. Um, put on my, put on my uh, towel around my head, and I can see my nurse over there. Let's go chase her down and ask her why she left. They teleport occasionally. Okay, now the green elf, the, these green elves look to me just like the nurse looks, so I got to be careful. Five dot, five dot, five dot. Wait, yeah, that's a nurse, and I'm not wearing conflict. Five dot. The nurse hits, I hope you don't mind. Okay, she's doing what she should. The green elves will come, but that's okay. Zap A, Adam. Zap A, Adam. Now these other elves are coming. They're going to sneak up behind the nurse. Oh, there we go. So uh, obviously somebody has been digging. Five dot. All right. Zap A that way. Remove E. Take off my blindfold so I can see because somebody's been digging at my uh, level here. Now I'll put on E. I stay blind so that I can see monsters with brains that uh, are sneaking up on me. Okay, if I, I'm up to 168 now, where I was like 165 before. And so my biggest weakness is few hit points. All right. I've lost the nurse. She teleported, but she's gone completely off the level. So that's the end of that. Remove my blindfold, wear my shoes, wear my armor, wear my robe, wear my gloves, wear my hat. Um, if you look at my armor, you might think that I'm fully 
well, I'm not fully equipped with armor. First, I have my magic resistance cloak instead of my cloak of protection. Oops. Second, I love to wear a t-shirt. Third, um, you might consider uh, wearing a shield. Uh, I don't use a shield when I'm a uh, wizard the ult, because shields get in the way of spell casting, like Gauntlets of Power do. But I'm, you know, I'm intelligent enough that uh, I can wear one bad piece of armor and still get it along okay. Okay, I got a trapper. They're too heavy. Their corpses are too heavy. So I want him to stand on the altar. And I'm actually going to use my finger of death on him. Because if he swallowed me when I was here, then when I killed him from the inside, his corpse would be here and he's too heavy. See? Oh, actually I can. <laughs> he's almost too heavy. DD. Okay. I'll offer. Yes, I'll offer him. You, alt, you offer or sacrifice with meta O or alt O. Zap C. Gecko, not likely to be, okay, I'll eat him, zap, C, et mummy. Now, mummies and uh, zombies, you don't sacrifice their corpses, nothing will happen. The tigers you do. Ah, my prayer timeout has expired. I don't have a hopeful feeling, and I don't see four-leaf clovers, so I'll just kick that under the altar there. Let's go ahead and pray. I have no more water to turn into holy water. Pray. Leathery spellbook. Zap identify. Spellbook of jumping. Don't need it. Stash I. Uh, zap C. Quantum mechanic. And he hit me. I'll kill this leprechaun while I'm here. Fluorite stone, thank you very much. Stash M. Go find the quantum mechanic and kill him. Now, I always worry when I sacrifice quantum mechanic. I mean, item or uh, monsters with a Q like quantum mechanics and genetic engineers can be sacrificed. Remove E. Zap C. He'll come back. Here he comes. Apply C. He's only got eight, eight hit points left. Okay, he's gone. Beetle. Another beetle coming. Offer W, the thing that's not Z. Um, zap C. An owlbear. Five dot. Hopeful feeling. Five dot. Come on, guys. Okay. Um, one reason to sacrifice monsters is just to clean up the junk on your level. If you stay here for long, you're going to end up with a lot of medium. You'll end up with a lot of corpses around, and like this one that I maybe should have picked up. Pick up the bat DX and kick it. Um, so one reason to sacrifice is just to keep your work area clean. Okay, he's shift fight. I could fight why am I more confident in my fighting skills? Oh, daggers. I just I throw a yeah, I threw a dagger at him because I wanted to anger him because I was just changing places with him. Okay, let's look. Okay, I don't know why I'm more more skilled. Let's control P to look back through. Swap places. Another thing I don't know about NetHack is why I just felt more skilled. Because I may have been hitting him barehanded. Maybe that was it. If so, I don't have a weapon. That's it. Okay, wheel day. <laughs> Maybe you saw why I was barehanded. I don't know why. Zap C. Come on, Dwarf Lord. He's zapping a wand striking at me. I'll pick up everything. Drop P. Drop them all. All right, we got hill orcs. And if they can throw things at me, they're just going to run away. But maybe they'll come. Lock pick, don't need it. Go 
Ocean of Healing. Do need that. Drop P. And I'm going to do this for a little while longer. You may want to fast forward. Author I. Author F C. FC. So that failed to cast correctly. You can see that on Create Monster, I still fail 3% of the time. So that's about every that's about 3%. Five dot. Got a pit viper, don't run away. Black light. A couple things I could do here. I could hit him with magic missile. I can just put on my towel and he exploded. I'm unaffected because I'm blind. And or I could have just attacked him and if he exploded and gave me hallucination, I could have used my unicorn horn to be cured. Peaceful Ape. Sorry, Peaceful Ape. You use a Shift F to fight. Offer M. Zap C. Clay Golem. Okay, he's going to leave me stones. Drop P. Yeah, what I say about hill orcs that have things to throw at you. Oh. Cloak of Displacement and a Rotted Cloak of Displacement. He has been in my polypile line. Offer X. Cockatrice. Be careful. They can stone you. Verify that I my strength is 25, so I know I have my, my gloves on, but no corpse. Zap C. And I'm hungry, so instead of sacrificing him, I'll just eat him. Iguana. Are you bored yet? Okay, she's apparently going to try attacking me. Get her onto the altar and then kill her. A tin. With tins, I may identify them, or I may just buck identify them, zap identify. I don't need pickled cobalt leader. Apparently, cobalt, or tins don't have gender, but monsters do. So there are cobalt lords and cobalt ladies, and if you tin one of them, you end up with tinned cobalt leader. There's a wraith. Okay, what do I want to do? Wraiths sometimes get generated with um, wands of digging, but it's rare. Zap A, boom. And I have a wraith corpse. Just because you have a wraith corpse doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get a level gain. It may be rotted, and I won't get the level gain, but hopefully this gives me experience level 16 when I eat him. Yes. Okay, so you see, no, control D. No. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm not making progress towards the bottom of the dungeon, but I am making progress in finding items, um, gaining experience levels. Black. All right. Loot. MP. And. Reconciliation. So my prayer timeout has expired. I still have no uh, water, to, so I'm just going to pray. Light blue aura, that's a remove curse on all your items, but I didn't have any cursed items. Um, an owlbear is a lower level monster. I could eat him. I'm not going to eat him. Um, eventually, I'm going to get... Um, Oh, okay, hang on. Oh, I am hungry. Okay, now if I throw daggers, check. With daggers, I am expert, so I can throw more than one. I may end up with daggers underneath this boulder, but I could push the boulder out of the way and, and get my daggers back, so I'm still going to do that. But I only threw one dagger. Let's get the water nymph. 
offer W. Let's get junk. Drop P. Get some more junk. Kick it. And I'll stand here and let the elves come to me. I'll go ahead and eat one of the elf lords or elf ladies. Okay, what do we got? Two of them. Offer one. Yes, eat the other. And you can offer a partially eaten monster. Okay, pretty soon he's going to run out of things to throw at me. And, okay, EK. Yes, I'm going to pick up everything. There's nothing good. Oh, see, two, un oh, those, those are his uncursed elven daggers. So they, he threw them at me, they hit me, and then fell onto the altar. Okay. I should probably set a goal for when I head back down. Um, the goal would be experience level, say, 19 or 20, or 200 hit points. And it really shouldn't take me that long to get there. Come on, Rust Monster. Now, you saw that I am stressed here picking up that corpse. The more burdened you are, the slower you move. And um, so when you're stressed... I. If I had killed that rust monster like here, I may not have been able to walk all the way there before he was too old to zap A, too old to sacrifice, zap A. So I could attack that, that guy, the black pudding with my bladed weapon, my magic paint, but he would have sliced into multiple fire. Oh, come on. Nagas are too heavy to lift, likely. He's throwing poison at me. There we go. Zap A. Offer. Kick the Wand of Digging. Zap C. And another Black Naga. You're going to come after me? Yes. Zap A. Okay, all but six hit points. You can eat raven corpses. You can't eat, well, you shouldn't eat bat corpses. Mountain centaur, come on, mountain centaur. All right, enough of that. Eat him. Zap C. Winter Wolf. These monsters that are appearing, like all monsters, offer J. Feeling of reconciliation. The monsters that appear, that get generated, that get spawned on a level, are a function of your experience level and the dungeon level. So at experience level 16, dungeon level 16, these are the kinds of monsters I'm getting. You'll notice I haven't gotten any um, dragons or archons. Maybe by the time I'm experienced level 17. There we go, four-leaf clover. Alt. Oh, wait a minute. That means, hang on, control P, control P. I sacrificed a roth and got a four-leaf clover. That means I did something that decreased my luck level. I'm going to check, and I still have my uncursed luck stone. So I want to sacrifice another Roth. Now, Roths, in fact, all cues always generate a corpse. Offer, yes, no um, four-leaf clover. So I'm, now my luck is maximized. I don't know what I did to hurt my luck, but it happens. I'll pray, yes. Now sacrifice the other monster and this other monster. And I'm going to kick the Wand of, ah, wand of Speed monster. Really, I should keep one in my main inventory. Yeah, and, and when I get into a tough situation, I should zap myself. Actually, 
I think I will carry four or five of those up to ascend, especially on the plane of air. If I'm extra fast, I'll do better. Zap C. That's something I haven't done in the past, but I'm still adjusting my play level to um, NetHack 3.7. Drop P. Okay. W, H, W. That cobalt picked up my black pudding corpse and carried it with him and then dropped him. Dropped it when I killed him. If you stand on an altar, vampires will run away from you. But I don't want him to run away. I want to kill him. All right. Um... Take off gloves. My real strength is 1862. Eat the giant corpse, even though it was a zombie. Zap A. Eat the zombie. And now from 1862, I'm 1870. Wear gloves. Why? Um, um, stash X. I run my strength up just to get a higher score, or maybe I will lose my um, gauntlets. DZ. I may lose my gauntlets dexterity for some reason, and so my natural strength higher is a safety precaution. Gray ooze zap a another wraith. Let's see if I can get up to experience level seventeen. And how do I want to do it? Zap A got the bounce off the the cast. He left me a corpse. Eat him? Yes. Wraith corpses taste gamey. That's interesting. Welcome to experience level 17. Now I have teleport control. You feel controlled. When you gain intrinsics, you get messages like this. You can always search for them on nethackwiki.org and find out what they mean. Zap A, boom. Ha. Huh. All right. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, he exploded. My candle that was here <laughs> under in my stash caught light, and my oil lamp catches light. Apply L. I'll turn off my lamp. I'm not going to bother extinguishing the candle that's in the junk pile. A leather golem. Um, I don't care that he's on the altar. Stressed. I'm stressed because I'm carrying too much. Drop Shift P. I can drop them all. So best feature in NetHack 3.7. Create monster. I got some Urkai. Offer him, and I'm glad I did that because I get the full healing. DX stash X. Come on, guy. Don't make me chase you down. Gnome Lady puts on a cloak of displacement. Not going to do much good, Gnome Lady. I'm not sure the code is written to allow me to be confused by the location of a monster wearing a cloak of displacement. Pick up everything. Escape. Uh, drop P. All right. Urukai, are you done throwing stuff at me? You are. One, two, kick three times, pick up the stuff, drop P, push my rock back. Why do I push my rock back every time? Okay, he had a cursed, she had a cursed potion of gain level. She's on the level above. I could go up to dungeon level 15 and find her, maybe later. I push my rock back in place every time because, stop it, digging holes in my walls. I'll offer X, because when I cast um, Create Monster, a monster may appear on my stash. And uh, Monkey, he's not peaceful. And steal my stuff out of my box. Monsters loot boxes much more in NetHack 3.7.
So I don't know if I mentioned, but this is a pre-release of NetHack 3.7. Oh. Okay. That was a mistake. So he has modified. He had a pickaxe. He dug there. Offer Z. So he's just ruined my neat little stuff. Now when I kick... Okay, kill the worm on my... Okay. Now when I kick stuff, it'll go under past my boulder and it'll end up here. Oh, okay, well that'll work. So what I'm going to do is, you're wondering why I have all these boulders around. Um, for things just like that. So as hill giant or giants have come along, they've left me boulders, or maybe a monster comes along and reads a scroll of earth and gives me monsters or gives me boulders. Yes. Offer W. I keep the boulders around. You can always dig pits in the ground. Why aren't you guys coming to get me? Is there a there's no monster there? Um, you can get rid of boulders. A small glob of black pudding fades away. I may never have seen that message before. The pudding glob ro uh, rotted, and <laughs> so it faded away. Okay, fine. Um, you can dig holes, and you can even put stuff in the holes, and then push a boulder in to the hole to... That's probably the most secure uh, stash there is, is a hole dug in the ground. Control D, kicking three times. Don't kick four times if you got three items on the altar. You don't want to kick the altar. Okay, oh. They keep going in my stash. This dungeons, or this level setup was not ideal because I got monsters continually going into my poly pile area. Come on. Okay, you get one more chance. You lose. Drop P. I don't want to pick that guy up. Drop P. Drop P. Oh. Drop W, Z, and M. D, Z, D, M. Now I'll offer you. Oh, pick him up. Offer W. Can I kick? I can kick a splint mail when I have gauntlets of power on. You don't want to kick an altar, but it's okay to kick items off the altar. Kick the altar, you can anger your god. Can't I can kick splint mails, but not plate mails. He's not peaceful. Invisible stalker comes down on my altar. They don't. I can still kick this guy at an angle there. All right. Rock mole. Okay. Let's see. I need to... Why do I need to polymorph? I need to polymorph or polypile my amulets. Um, I'm still carrying a couple of amulets. I'm going to put in H, and then I want to drop F and J. D, F, drop J. Now let's see if I have any more amulets. I have a lot of amulets. I'm going to get C, D, E, F, G. I'm going to drop W, F, X. D, W... D, F, D, I forgot, drop P, H, X, and J, D, X, D, J, J, verify that I've dropped the right things, 
Okay, do I have a wand of polymorph? Not, oh, I do. E just J to P. Okay, is that P that way? Let's see what I got. A brass ring, an unidentified ring. Interesting. And with a bag of holding, oilskin sack. So bags of holding are magical. I don't think oilskin sacks are. So magical items have a higher probability of polymorphing into magical items than unmagical items. Oh, I got all sorts of stuff I haven't identified. There, I got an amulet of life saving. And nothing. All right, drop P. Okay, stash Z. So the reason I'm polypiling amulets is to get additional amulets of life saving. Zap, identify. Scroll of curse scroll of teleportation, ring of shock resistance. Now, after I polypi or uh, after I genocide shocking spheres, I finally get a ring of shock resistance. I got a Amulet of Magical Breathing. I'll drop that. That's DW. Spellbook of Levitation. Okay. DW. DW. The Spellbook of Levitation. I'll loot in Spellbooks X. Okay. And I rings. I've got rings I don't need, but there's no point in polymorphing them. Okay. We're going to put the MN. And V in. I do like rings of searching. To show you my rings. I like rings of searching because wizards don't get automatic searching. I like rings of hunger because if I eat a big monster like a giant, I can put on a ring of hunger and um, get uh, unsatiated quicker. But rings of hunger, I put in the H slot. Okay, let's zap. Zap P that way. Huh. All right, enough polypiling, maybe. Could who could possibly need more than three or four amulets of life saving me with my weakened condition? So zap P that way. Zap P that way. <laughs> okay. Zap identify my tiger eye ring is a ring of self. I think I've already been granted the gift of stealth. I'll stash that. I don't think I'll need it. Drop X. Okay. Okay, I have five life-saving amulets in my bag and one around my neck. Okay, and I have teleport control. I'm ready to move on in a moment. Loot out potions. Uh, I've got potions of gain ability. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use up my scrolls and potions that I have stashed um, to up my game here. So I only have seven potions of holy water so far. I could, I have a wand of cancellation. Let's, I do have a wand of cancellation, right? Yes. Okay, let's make some more holy water. Loot out potions. All the potions that I, oh, fruit juice, doesn't polymorph into fruit juice, but all the potions that I won't be needing, I'm going to take out. Verify that I got them all, that looks good. I'm going to cancel those potions with my wand of cancellation. OK. 
Okay, zap. I'm going to zap B. What direction? And now I have the oil and the fruit juice did not change. Booze will change into fruit juice when you cancel it, I believe. So pick them all up. I did get nine potions of water out of it. And I got a bunch of blank scrolls. And I'll use those in a moment. But now back, loot out potions. I've got six extra healings. I got four gain abilities and one J. I'll dip Z into E. Dip Z into E. Q. Okay, gain ability will improve strength and charisma. Everything else is already up to the maximum. Z. Control A to repeat, Control A to repeat, and Control A to repeat. Now I've maxed out all my stats except for my strength. All right, loot out potions. Gain energy, I got two of them. So get that and one I. I'm going to dip J into V. J into V. And you don't want to quaff your gain energies until your energy is already at the maximum. So it's a 233 Q, J, Control A, and I've gone from 233 to 253. Loop out potions. I need some more potions of speed, so but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take out A and 1H. I'm going to dip W into F. Dip W into F. Q. Okay, watch my maximum hit points here. I've got a video that describes exactly what I'm doing in more detail. Q, W. Control A, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's it. Um, I've got, with all those amulets of life saving, I'm going to do this. Q, M, two, three. Run my hit points up above 200. That's good. All right. Loot, loot out. Scrolls. I'm going to pull A out and... G out. I'm going to adjust O into N. And I'm going to write some enchant armor scrolls. Start with B. Just O to M. So now in my M slot, I have a magic marker, uncursed. In my end slot, I have a bunch of blank scrolls. I've got more scrolls than I need. I'll loot in scrolls. D, no, not D, just I. Stash D. Carry the teleportation with me. All right. Apply M, N. Enchant armor. Apply M, N. Enchant. I need a bunch. I need, how much do I need? One or two here, one or two here, and it's almost time to wish for a t-shirt. Uh, so I need at least, I need two at least. I'm going to get four because I'll eventually have a t-shirt. No, well, I'll get more. That's probably enough. M. Yeah, my magic marker is drained. Okay. Loot stash M. Loot out potions. I'll get a holy water, which is G. Um, identify scrolls. I've got, okay, stash N. And I'm going to dip Z. I'll dip Z into W. Now they're enchanted. Now, you don't want to enchant your armor passage, typically past four or five. So I'm going to take off my boots and my, okay, take off shoes. I'm going to take off my robe. I'm going to take off my dragon scales. I took off my robe because it's the wrong kind of robe, and I'm still hoping to get a robe of, or a cloak of protection. Okay, read Z. My helm of brilliance just went from two to five. Take Take off H. Okay, read Z. Glowed for a while, and it's up to plus three. Read Z. 
close for a while, it's up to plus five. Apply the in, my scrolls, there we go. Wear armor, wear robe, wear, wear hat, wear shoes. All right, armor class 23, still not where I want it for ascension, but it's good enough for Vlad's tower, or for below Vlad's tower. This is good enough to fight the uh, Wizard of Yendor. So, the last thing I'm going to do in this video is teleport back down to where I was on the Jehenim level that had Vlad's Tower. I type Control O. The castle was on level 29. The stairs are on level 41. I cannot level teleport clear to level 41 because I will stop in the Valley of the Dead. So 41 is the number to remember. Um, I do have teleport control because I am experienced level 17 as a wizard. So out yeah, scrolls. How many of these scrolls are teleport? I got nine teleportation. Okay, that's good. Uh, before I move on, I'm going to verify that I'm not okay. Magic missile. I'm 39% ish. Create monster 61. Finger of death. I'm 19. I'm going to refresh that. Typically, I don't read when I'm 19, but when I'm down to um, into Jehenim, I'll be able to go down and probably come back up and ascend. Now, loot out spell books. Let's do Finger of Death J. Read X. You know what? Yes. Loot stash X. Loot out spell books. I'm going to do the same with Magic Missile T. Read J. Yes. Loot stash. Oh, yes. Loot stash J. Okay, check my spells. Finger of death. Identify. 36 is probably good. Knock light. Remove curse. I'm going to go ahead and uh, refresh W. But I got to... Okay. Read D. Yes. Loot stash D. Okay, one more time on the spells. That's everything I want. Okay, I'm going to quickly review and see if there's anything else that I want before I go down to face the wizard. I've got my four scrolls of gold detection. I need to ascend. That's good. care about spells. I need a bunch more potions of speed. I've only got one. I would never did pray and turn these guys into holy water, but I can do that next time. The rings, don't care about. Wands, they're good. I've got a whole bunch of gems. And am I carrying anything in my bag that I don't need? Not too much, just that fluorite stone. Okay, let's do it. Let's go down to level 41. I won't make it all the way. I'll stop in the Valley of the Dead. I'm going to pull out 1C. I'm going to zap a forgotten spell. This will work B. I'm confused and stunned. For level porting, I only want to be confused and not stunned. So apply U. Apply U. I'm stunned. Okay, zap B. Try it again. Apply U. Zap B, apply U, apply U. Now I'm confused and not stunned. Read Z. I mispronounced the magic words. What level do I want to teleport? Well, I want to go all the way to 41, even though I won't make it. It takes me to the Valley of Dead, right by the upstairs. Apply U to get unconfused. And now let's head... could levitate here to get over these, but not worth it. All right, now that I'm in Jehenim, I can go to level 41. Apply B out, scrolls 1C, zap B, I'm confused and not stunned. Read E, I want to go to 41, please. And here I am. Apply you to get unconfused, 
And let's now continue to drop down to around level 50 to find the bottom level where the vibrating square is. Zap M. Oh, verify that my, yeah, I got lots of life left on my magic mapping. Where are the downstairs? There, put L. So I'm levitating. Oh, oh, those are walls of water. Oh, yeah, I, I don't like these. And I couldn't find the shortest distance for me. It's that finger of death to kill the Minotaur. Gremlins with walls of water. If you've seen the movie, when gremlins get in water, they reproduce. So they're reproducing. A little bit annoying. It, it's scroll to create monster. I bet a gremlin would read that. The crocodile was in the water. We kill the gremlin. All right, some of these walls of water are not walls of water. They're, they are pools of water. So I'm looking for the pools. Oh, okay, this is why I have a wand of cold. I think this works. Let's try it. Zap J that way. It freezes for a moment. Never mind. All right. Okay, I'm actually going to pause and not make you suffer through this. I'll find my way through. Okay, this room of walls of water is a new feature in NetHack 3.7, and I don't have a whole lot of experience with it. It finally, uh, if you look at the maze here, there's no way to get from the upstairs to the downstairs that I could find. It is possible to step through some of these walls of water, but I didn't want to check every single wall of water. It finally occurred to me, I have scrolls of teleportation. I took them out, I blessed them by dipping into a holy water, and then I had, well, I already had teleport control anyway, so I didn't need uh, blessed scrolls, but I read a scroll of teleportation. It took me here to the downstairs, so... That's how I get through this level, is teleportation. Okay, continuing down, on down. I fall down the stairs. Why? Because there's ice? I'm not burdened. Okay, zap magic map beam. Okay, this is the wizard's tower. Actually, the wizard of the Endor, I believe, is right there. Put E. Yeah, there he is. I'm going to use the far look command. The semicolon. Got a hellhound and the wizard of Yedvor. He, he's in his tower, and the next three levels down, I'm going to see other parts of his tower. There's no way for me to get from here into the tower other than go, by going down below and then coming using a, a portal, magic portal, and getting into the bottom of the tower. But that will be later. Um, I'm fortunate that the downstairs are right there, and I have a couple of... There's a mind flayer. And I got another Mind Flayer here, Master Mind Flayer. Okay, take off my towel. Okay, Umber Hulk. Apply you. I blinded myself. Kill him. Kill him. Remove E. And downstairs. Zap Magic Mapping. Here's the middle level of the Wizard's Tower. And to go down, I got to get clear over there. Put L. My blessed ring of levitation. Zap F. Oh, I'm hallucinating. Apply U. Okay. Wheel day. Levitating still. Amber stone. Remove L. Pick up the amber stone. Boy, D stash D. Put ring of levitation. Wheel A. Kill the blob. Of the gelatinous cube. And a ruby. Remove L. Pick up the ruby. Put it in the bag. OK. 
Okay, I've dug as reasonable a path from the upstairs to the downstairs as I can. Let's go downstairs. Zap Magic Mapping. This is the bottom level of the Wizard's Tower. There's Somewhere below here, there's a magic portal that will take me into this bottom level, and then I'll go up these stairs. Ah, drunk the potion of extra healing. I would rather he dropped it, and I drunk it. I'll eat the troll, because it's been a while since I've eaten. Okay. Glass golems always drop glass. If you have not identified a piece of glass and you kill a glass golem, if it said, like, there's a red gem here or a green gem, I could pick that up and label it as glass. Because glass golems never drop gems. It's always glass. Okay, zap magic mapping. Put L. Go to the downstairs. And I'm levitating. Z okay, zap F that way. Um, remove L. I'm going to eat him. Now I'm burdened. Why? Uh, hopefully I'm lame. Put L. Am I just carrying too much? Did I pick up something? Sometimes I pick things up and I don't know, don't notice. Oh, I'm carrying holy water. Slash W. Remove L. Okay, it was the holy water, those three potions, but I'm still near my limit. Is there anything else I can drop? I don't need that partly eaten food ration. I'm carrying three food rations. Usually at this point in the game, I only carry two. Carrying an awful lot of wands. Drop wands. Uh, the lightning. I guess I'll carry the cancellation. I should have left it in my stash. Now let's stash one of my teleportations. My polymorph, secret sword detection, fire. Okay, put L. <laughs> the salamander, they're fireproof, but he was carrying some stuff, so it fell in the water, it fell in the lava. Wander digging. Okay, is that magic mapping? This could be, I mean, the, the, I forget what you call these, but there could be a portal there. There's one other, one other level just like this. One of these two levels will have the magic portal in them to the wizard's tower. But at this point, I'm not interested in that until I find the vibrating square. Of course, I have a, a trap door. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Wheel day, zap, magic mapping. I have a video about doing the invocation and then, uh, well, that's what you want to see. And then killing the wizard or killing the wizard and then doing the invocation. These things are iron bars all over the place here. Five dot, five dot, five P. Okay, zap A. You can zap, zap A through the iron bars and you can throw things through the iron bars, but you can't dig through them. Wield A. Okay, I'm heading for the stairs. That's a genetic engineer. New in NetHack 3.7, he can genetically engineer me. Oh, come on. Zap F that way. I don't like mind flares. Just kill him. Okay, I'm going to untrap, untrap. That's Alt A. Oh, I still didn't get it. Untrap that way. And now the trap is disarmed. The reason I did that, fly be that way, is P. 
multiply P that way. The reason I untrapped it is now I can use a far move to move right over it without stopping. Wield A. Wield A. Glass golem. No, an iron golem. Okay. Wield A. All right. Now I'm going to finish mapping the upper level because I fell through a pit trap before I got here. Finish mapping or finish digging. Put L. All right. Tap F. Mastodons, they're, they're kind of tough. Nurse. Do I dare do some nurse dancing on this level? I really need the hit points. I'm going to do it. Take off gloves, take off hat, take off rope, take off armor, take off my shoes, wield minus. Okay, I'm at 236 hit points. Five dot, five dot, five dot. Wonder what this monster is here. Probably a dragon, but he's not coming after me. Okay, I'm at 239, put E. Oh, just a minotaur. Okay, the the nurse teleported. Zap F that way. And she left. A little bit dangerous to go wandering around after a nurse. Five dot. But I am gaining hit points. Wield minus five dot. Up to 240, zap A that way, five dot. Two forty one, two forty two, max hit points. Two forty three, put E and she teleported and she's off this level. Where are my shoes, my armor, my robe, my gloves, my hat? Wield A and take off my towel from around my head. And let's go downstairs. Remove L. Vampire. Remove E. And the ring was a coral ring. What's this? It's unidentified. Zap I. Ring of polymorph. D I. I don't need it. And I'm in a pit. Remove A. Rust monster. Put L. Go downstairs. Rust monster. Rust monsters are so bad at the beginning of the game, but they're nothing now. My armor's all protected. Zap magic mapping. There are the downstairs. And I'm on ice. Zap F. When two five level five monsters line up, I zap them. That magic mapping. Can I just go there? Clunk. Okay, the troll here zapped a wand of lightning at me. The cure for that, of course, is zap F that way, finger of death. Then apply U to undo my blindness. Clunk means somebody threw a dagger and it hit the, or something and it hit the Iron bars. It's an ice devil. Salamander, I'm on fire. Worthless piece of orange glass and down. Zap magic mapping. I'm level 51 and I don't see any downstairs. To be sure, I'm going to type underscore greater than. Can't find dungeon feature down, so can't find the downstairs. Um, somewhere around level 50 is the bottom level of the dungeon. Um, somewhere on this square is the or somewhere on this level is the vibrating square. The quickest way to find it is to read a scroll of gold detection while you're confused. 
Another way to find it is to put on a ring of searching. I have one put Q. Now if I'm next to it, I have a chance of finding it. Um, takes a lot of magic missiles to kill a minotaur. Zap F, or one finger of death. Um, so I need to explore this whole level. I didn't bring any scrolls of gold detection with me. I do have a magic marker so I could write one. But the other thing I can do is I have two wands of secret door detection. Let's use them. I don't know how close you have to be. Zap M. Found an invisible monster in two traps. I don't see the traps. Oh, it found them, but um, <laughs> but I but it's a dark level. So there's one of them that found. Zap M. Two invisible monsters, no traps. Zap M. Invisible monster. Oh, put L. Remove. Okay, I'm going to remove my ring of searching. Put L. Zap M. Just an invisible monster and a jasper stone. Okay. Head over. Got a dragon. Zap F that way. Left me gold and scales, but no potions. Zap M. Okay, most traps have a carrot or an up arrow symbol. The vibrating square has a different symbol. It's a tilde. Bag of holding. Move L, loot it out. It's empty. You don't have to pick it up to loot it. Put L. Zap M. Didn't find anything. Zap M. Okay, I hope I find it here. Put L. Zap F that way. Zap A. 45. Oh, it's, it's move L. Stash O. Put L. Zap M. Two traps. Okay, you guys may have already seen the tilde, but I haven't seen it yet. Zap M, two traps. Zap M, zap M. Zap M. All right, I'm going to pause and continue my search for the vibrating square. All right, my strategy worked to find the vibrating square by zapping my wand of secret door detection around. Um, but one of the traps that it revealed when it said it found a trap was right here to my lower left. I see a gem there, and when I step on it, you feel a strange vibration under your feet. There's a vibrating square here. More, when we got two worthless pieces of glass, I'm going to step back, control D that way. Okay, now I can see the vibrating square. Now that I found the vibrating square, let's go find the Wizard of Yandor. Put L. Go to the upstairs. Remove L. Okay, back. I'm hungry. I don't want to eat an invisible stalker. He's got a horn. That could be good. Zap identify. It's just a tooled horn. Okay, I'm going to DM and DS. DM, DS. Okay, but you can eat a... Oh, no, I don't know about eating a displacer beast. Zap F. I missed him. Zap F. Zap F. So he's got 
armor class minus 10, that's really high. So I'm using a shift F command to hit him. When I just attack him, often is not, he just swaps places with me. Apply C that way. I've taken him from 82 down to 30 hit points. Um, I hit him again, and you hit him enough, and you uh, you kill him. I'm hungry. I don't know what eating a displacer beast does. Should we find out? Okay, it gives me displacement. <laughs> that makes sense. That'll be temporary. Zap A that way. Okay. I think I saw the message that said they no longer have difficulty. Zap F that way. That troll is going to keep coming back. Okay, go upstairs. Go upstairs. Okay, this could be one of the one. This could be the entrance to the Wizard's Tower. Let's go find out. Zap A that way. Why am I blind? I didn't see it. Oh, blind because of the. Okay, apply you because of the white lightning. Apply you. Apply you. Okay, I've got a giant corpse here. Let's eat him. Unless I get a chicka trice. Okay. Now I'm satiated and blind. Apply my unicorn horn. Zap A. Zap A. There we go. I'm working my way over to this location. Okay, there's a moat around it here. Put L floating in the air. Apply B, my P, my pickaxe that way. Okay, I've got somebody threw a boulder. There's a gray dragon. Um, I can't, well, I will use magic missile. It won't kill the dragon, but it may kill the giant and the... Uh, Mosquito. <laughs> Zap F that way. Okay. Killed the Zan. Okay. Wield A. I'm going to just have to take him out by hand. Oh, and he knocks me, but I'm levitating, so it's okay. Oh, never kill a dragon over water. Uh, well. Remove L. Kill the storm giant. Didn't leave me any good gems. Okay, this was the location that did have the magic portal. I'm slightly dizzy, more, and now I have teleported into the bottom level of Vlad's Tower. I need to work my way to the stairs, but I'm stunned right now because magic portals stun you. And I'm still using my oil lamp. I'm going to turn that off in a minute. Just want to see what's here. Okay, put on my ring of searching Q. And now if I just work my way around the edges of this room, I should find the doorway. There it is. Let's get rid of you, Mr. Vampire, pretending to be a bat. And you, Mr. Pit Fiend. Have you ever seen a pit fiend fall into the pit? Okay. This is worth talking about. This is a beehive. It's full of killer bees and a queen bee. In NetHack 3.7, if you kill the queen bee from a beehive, then one of the other killer bees in the beehive will eat a lump of royal jelly and turn into the queen bee. So you'd want to try to kill all the worker bees before you kill the queen. And they just happen to line up for me here. Zap F that way. Okay. Um, I'm wearing my wet towel. Remove the, you didn't see it, but while I was exploring that level with walls of water, I... Uh, triggered a fire trap, it melted the ice, and I fell in water. And so um, when you do that, I have not greased my bag of holding yet, so some of the items in your bag may get wet and rust or blank. So I'm checking, and I'm not sealing, seeing that any potions turned into water and no squirrels turned into blank scrolls. Zap A that way. And now I'm Picking up all of the royal jelly. Why do you pick up royal jelly? There's a regular towel. D-E, just X-T-E. 
you pick up royal jelly because every time you eat royal jelly, you gain one strength level. So I found a total of three royal jellies in that beehive. So I'll be, as I eat them, my strength will go up to 18 slash 89. Uh, wear gloves. Okay, I've still got my ring of searching on. Gold detection. I've got five of them now. Got all I need. That would have helped find the vibrating square. Search, search, control D. Potion invisibility, I don't care. Oh yeah, sorry. Looking in the wrong place. The Zutri is actually a shape changer. Throwing daggers, killed it. So that means it's a uh, something that, whoops. All right, we got a level five monster. It is a white dragon, not a silver dragon. Zap F that way. A scroll of teleportation that I don't need. Zap A, I'm gonna kill the monsters that are in the moat. Zap A, because I need to dig through the wall. Kraken, Zap A, I'm gonna reflect. Um, a finger of death, of course, will kill a kraken, but a magic missile will, zapped by a wizard, if you can reflect into him twice, you can often kill him. Zap A that way. Okay, it didn't, but it took him down by 60 hit points. Zap A that way. And that did it. Okay. Um, scroll of teleportation. Put on my levitation ring. Remove Q, which was my searching, right? Put L. Apply pickaxe that way, wield A, zap A. Okay, and this is a ladder. Remove L, amulet of strangulation. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of monsters here, including one wraith, or at least one wraith. So I need to work my way around and through and then to these upstairs. Um, put on Q, my ring of searching, and I can't keep them all asleep. I'm kicking my doorways. Normally, you don't want to do that if it might wake monsters, but they're all awake, and I can't keep them asleep in NetHack 3.7. Object detection, blindness. I'll dip U into Z, stash Z in the bag. Blindness, you can dip your unicorn horn into. Oh, I'm in a pit. Uh, dip your unicorn horn into and clear it to water. Scroll of Earth, don't need it. Uh, cursed uh, Scroll of Invisibility. Close. Yeah, he opened it. All right. Probably want to put on Conflict here. Put C. Oh, remove Q. Put, put C. Put C. All right, they'll hit each other now, but there will be lots of messages to scroll through. Zap A. Don't try the Finger of Death on a demon. Like that, Vrock. Zap A that way. Zap A that way. Come on, how many times do you have to hit the Vrock? You've got five hit points left. I'm going to close the door and kick it. I'm not Control D. I cast a spell accidentally. Zap A. The Ice Devil. Hit point 63 hit points. I'll hit him with my magic vein for a while. Zap A. Okay, I've got a green elf. Five dot. Zap A. Zap A. Apply C. 17 left. That's one hit. Apply C. One hit. Fly C C is my stethoscope. Zap A. Zap A. Zap A. Zap A. Fly C. Oh, I've got a. Okay. Um, he's eight hit points. Um, I've got a mind flayer in the room here. I killed a pit fiend. The blast of disintegration whizzes by you. It bounces. 
I'm not afraid of a black dragon and a blast of disintegration, but it can it can kill monsters, but it can also uh, disintegrate items, which is not ideal. Zap F that way. I think that five was that was sitting here was my black dragon. Crocodile. There's the wraith. Oh, zap F that way. You can't kill wraiths, but it was still blasting disintegration at me, and I don't want to disintegrate that wraith. I'd rather gain experience. Now, here I am, experience level 16 again. Somebody did a level drain on me, and I didn't notice. Zap A that way. I think I've learned that a blessed potion of full healing will gain that level back. Five dot. Fly C, he's not hurt. Zap A. It. Okay, I'm going to step up and see if I can pick up that potion or anything else that might be good. Potion of healing. Nice. That's it. Apply B, stash E. Now I'm stashing this potion even though I'm in the middle of a battle. Why? Because I'm likely to get hit with fire or some other bad thing and lose the potion. Like that peaceful fire ele ele elemental, but I'm wearing conflict. So he could kill my potion. So I always put potions and scrolls. If they're good enough to pick up, they're good enough to put in a bag. Zap A. Somebody's casting lightning. That would probably be that blue dragon. Zap F that way. Killed him with finger of death. Okay, now it's just clean up. Remove E. Oh, apply U. Frozen by the gelatinous cube. You don't want to hit a gelatinous cube or let one hit you when you're in the middle of a battle. Just wanted to check because my power was so far down. I was surprised it was that low. I wanted to check that I still had my quest artifact, but I do, which just means I've been casting Finger of Death a lot. Zap A. Take out the black puddings with okay, with uh, a spell instead of my bladed weapon <clears throat> so they don't keep multiplying. Stash J. Apply L. Okay, now we're going to Walk through and see if they left me anything good, like a citrine stone or a pearl ring. Apply these stash T, zap identify. Uh, minus one ring of protection, DP. Don't need it. There's a giant corpse. I'm not going to eat it. Tear through a web because I got strength 25. Spellbook of uh, yet another. I'm going to keep these scrolls of gold detection because they may come in handy on the water, the plane of water. All right. Now we need to leave the room. Remove C, put on Q. So my ring of searching is now on. And turn off my oil lamp. I'm going to fight the elemental just to get it out of my life. Amulet of change. Maybe you never have enough amulets of life saving, but I, I probably have enough. Okay, so we have the Wizard of Yendor here. we got to get through this Titan and these other monsters first. Titans are bad. Zap F because they cast summon nasties. Yeah, there's a potion of full healing for me. Zap identified. Oh. Okay. I can't type. Control D for kicking. I missed. <laughs> Stash. The potion. I uh, hit the wrong button and kicked the wall instead of the door. Zap A. Okay, he threw a potion of paralysis at me, so they all get a bunch of free hits. And during that time, they gated in more. Zap A. Zap A. Now, there is a monster there in the poison cloud. There he is. Hezru. Pit Fiend. Scroll of Teleportation. Apply L. 
Stash F. All right, so we're searching for hidden doors. Zap F that way. Apply U to get unblind. My unicorn horn. Apply U. And he left me a spell book and potion of visibility. Ruby. Unnaturally quiet means that this is a graveyard level. You won't get as many wraith corpses on a graveyard level. All right. Um, I have not explored this area here or this area, but I'm not going to. Control D that way. Zap F down. Okay, I killed a bunch of them. I want to kill them all. What are you, Mr. Level 4? Apply L. Apply L. What's the best way to approach this? Pit Fiend. He won't hurt me. Maybe he'll zap a wand of digging. Giant Mummy. Is it time to eat yet? He didn't leave me a corpse. Zap A that way. Zap A that way. Zap A that way. Okay, a couple Krakens to clean up. Zap A. Zap A. Zap A. Zap A. Okay, let's go kill the Wizard of Yendor. Now, the Wizard of Yendor is a strong monster. You want to do an insta-kill. He has a bunch of things you can do. When you kill him, he'll come back to life eventually, no matter where you are in the dungeon. He can cast summon nasties. He can duplicate himself. If you have the if you've taken the amulet of Yendor from you, he can steal it back. And then if you kill him over water or over lava, then it falls in. Um, so I always use insta-kill. Orcus, the name demon, always leaves you a wand of death. So, and if you haven't used up all the charges, you can use that on him. I'm going to use Finger of Death on him. Let's go do it. Remove Q. Oops. Remove Q. Put L. So I'm levitating. RP. Dig a hole. Zap F that way. So he's gone. Wield A. Temporarily. He'll be back. Zap A that way. All right. Remove L, so I'm not levitating. I got a spell book of light. I like the light spell, but I'm okay. Don't need it. Down here we have a potion of water. Zap A. And right here we have the Wizard of Yendor's corpse since I insta-killed him. And this papyrus spell book is the Book of the Dead. It's always papyrus. Zap identify. It's the Book of the Dead. Okay, put L floating in the air, and I want to go down. I'm just moved to the downstairs. There are two downstairs on this level, and you alternate between them. So this is the downstairs I want, since it's the one in, in the wizard's tower. Remove L so I can go downstairs. Can't do that if you're levitating. Move to, oh, got a trap. Move to, not those downstairs, but those downstairs. Move to genetic engineer. Do I care? I'll leave him. Probably not got anything good. Put L and go to, not the downstairs this time, but this magic portal. Remove L. So I float gently to the floor. Now what we're doing is we're going back to the vibrating square because I have the Book of the Dead and I have the Bell of Opening and the Candelabrum and I have seven candles in my bag. So I've got everything I need to do the invocation. I'm stunned. Apply U. Put L. Go down. Got a Kraken. I don't care. I got a something else. I don't care. Golem. Remove L and down. Go down. Come on. I'm fumbling. I'm on ice. I'm making a lot of noise. I hope I don't hit another fire trap on the ice. Okay. This one... It does know how to solve this. Maze. And so we can go down. And here we are on the vibrating square level. There's the vibrating square. Put my ring of levitation. Go to the vibrating square. I'm hungry. Okay. Uh, eat. Oh, yeah. I eat 
lumps of royal jelly three at a time. Control A, Control A. So that just upped my strength by three. Stop levitating, remove L. I'm going to perform the invocation. It doesn't really matter if you use the bell or the condylabrum first, but let's get the condylabrum ready. Apply B, my bag, out. What tools? I have A, seven candles. Apply Before I do that, is there any junk I can drop? Oh, $17,000. That's why I apply these stash dollars there. Now I'm no longer burdened. All right. Apply my candles. Normally applying candles lights them, but if you have the candelabrum, it will offer to attach them. Attach your candles to the candelabrum of invocation. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to apply the candelabrum and the bell and read the book. You can do the first two in any order. Apply the bell is T, the bell of opening. Uh, an unsettling shrill sound. Apply the candelabrum, which is J. Boom. The candles burn brightly. Strange light. I think that means I'm in the right place. Read what? The Book of the Dead. I recite the runes, turn the page of the Book of the Dead, the floor shakes violently under you, the walls around you begin to bend and crumble, and now I'm surrounded by fire traps and by a moat, and those uh, gems that I kicked into the lava earlier, they're there, and we can go down. Now I've got my candelabrum still lit, I don't care, the candles will burn off. And I explained earlier why I get these messages. Sorry about that, but I go downstairs. All right. Uh, the okay. Why am I here? Oh, let me search. Control D. I'm here to. Oh, I may have said earlier that the wizard had the amulet of Yendor. He doesn't. He has the Book of the Dead, so you can uh, love and search so that you can. Recite the invocation so that you can. Okay, there's a ghost. Let him search. Maybe that was it. Control D. Let him search. I've got a ghost. Okay, so Rodney, the Wizard of Yendor, let him search, has 21 search. Can't stop and focus. Rodney, the Wizard of Yendor, has the Papyrus Spellbook, the Book of the Dead, so that you can get to this lowest level where the real amulet actually is. Live and search. And search. Okay. All right. We, there, we've got a graveyard here. There's a chance we may get another... Uh, with a Wraith Corpse ring. Okay, put on my conflict. It just helps soften them up a little bit. Zap A that way. Zap A that way. Zap A. A, zap A, there, hey, I got a Wraith Corpse, I got two of them, that's lucky, eat it, yes, yeah, so I'm at experience level 16, now I'm at experience level 17, I got my teleport control back, eat it, and I'm level 18, that's rare to get two Wraith Corpses on a graveyard level, zap A, boom, Yeah, you just got to wait. Oh, if two is rare, how rare is three? There's level 19. Zap A. We just have to wade through the hordes. Zap L. So I can see what I'm doing.
I'm tired of talking and you're tired of listening to me, so... Uh-oh. Okay, I am wearing conflict, but somebody did summon nasties on me. So I need to back off here. I'm almost completely surrounded. My hit points are still good at 249, but I don't like to be where the, so many monsters can hit me. Now that uh, cockatrice corpse there is probably going to turn a few of these into statues before I can get up and kill him. And that's okay with me. Zap A that way. Zap A that way. So. Unless you think that this corpse is a wraith corpse. It's the same color as the wraith corpse, but it's a, it's a carnivorous ape. Five dot. Zap F that way. Zap A that way. Yeah, statue of a green dragon. The, he hit the. He tried to bite the cockatrice because I have conflict on. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to retrieve the amulet, and then I'm going to call it quits on this video. Zap F that way. And uh, that'll be enough. Then in the next video, I'll go ahead and ascend with a little luck. I'm going to kill those ghosts down there because they just bother me. All right, I'm going to check out the Statue of a Green Dragon, kill the ghost, apply my pickaxe that way to shatter it. Because if he had been holding gems or something when he turned into a statue, then his items would have been... Um, in the statue. I'll loot. Yes. Loot out all. Don't need those things. Loot. Okay. Loot. Yes. Loot out all. Potion of water. Oh, nice. Don't need the potion of sleeping. There's a chest. Got another ring of conflict. I'm going to keep that because I may need it. Okay. Turn off my lamp. Huh. In case you don't have enough amulets of life saving. Okay. Search. Okay, and I'm still conflicting, causing conflict. Zap A. Zap A. And oh good. <laughs> Black Dragon, that'll disintegrate some of my some of the horde. Look at all those monsters. Zap L just to light the thing up here a little bit. And we'll zap A, my attack, my magic mapping spell. Wonderful. The, the uh, hill giant or the giant, whatever he was, had a boulder. So now none of the monsters can get at me and they probably won't get out of the way. So I could teleport it or I could use my pickaxe, which is what I'll do. We got a lot of priestesses here. Priestess, priests and priestesses of Moloch. Okay, take me a minute to wade through the, the crowds here. Zap A that way. Okay, that helps. Now I'm blind so the Ember Hulk can't confuse me. Okay, I really don't remember seeing this many monsters on this level. Were there a bunch of titans around? I don't know, but I got all sorts of monsters here. So it's going to take a while. Well, sit back and relax. I'm a little bit afraid of those disenchanters as I look around. Oh, another boulder. Oh, I got my pickaxe. I'm 
blind, so I'll apply my unicorn horn. I'm casting enough spells that my power level is dropping some, but I'm a wizard with my quest artifact. I'm not too worried. That's a priest. So I killed him in one hit because I'm wearing conflict and he had been uh, hurt. I'm going to zap F because I got a level 5 and a genetic engineer and a mind flayer. It probably won't get all the way to the mind flayer, but it might zap F that way. Nope, just killed two of them. I'm hungry. Zap. A that way. I need to eat soon. There are lots of corpses around. And there we go. They call they cast summon insects a lot. And you can mostly just ignore the insects and uh, maybe some of the other monsters will kill them or they'll kill each other. I got a mind flare right there. Let's see if he steps down. Yeah, zap A that way. Zap. I'm going to zap F to kill the Mind Flayer and the Disenchanter at the same time. Disenchanter is bad because he'll disenchant, remove the enchantments from my armor and my weapon. I'm going to kick those weapons, crossbow bolts. Kick the crossbow bolts is as good as throwing them. All right. There's a C ration. Eat it, yes. The hobgoblin disappeared because he was actually a shapeshifter that turned into a hobgoblin. So many monsters. Am I thinning them out at all? I think this may be new in this version of NetHack 3.7. I don't know what that level 5 monster is. Probably a golem. I can use my stethoscope and look at stone golem. He's down to 29 hit points, though. Okay, maybe I'm thinning, thinning them out. I don't actually have to kill them all. If I can get around them, then I can get to the priest and get the amulet, but then I have to work my way back through. Zap A that way. Zap A. Killed the genetic engineer. That's good. And I finally killed that cockatrice, so he'll stop making statues. I didn't try to do that. Didn't want him to die because it's a good way to clear out some of these nasties. The good news here is I'm holding my own with hit points. I'm fighting all these monsters, but my hit points aren't really going down. So it means I'm holding my own on this level, which is good. Okay, the killer be misses. The lieutenant hits you with a cockatrice corpse. More. Okay, I am slowing down. First thing I'm going to do, you always get a free um, stethoscope use. So I know he's almost dead. He's got a cockatrice corpse in hand. That's a cockatrice I probably killed with my magic missile. He picked it up and he hit me with it. I'm stoning. It takes me a few turns. I'm going to kill him first so because I might start eating my lizard corpse to get unstoned. He might just hit me again. So I'm going to kill him. I killed him. Your limbs are stiffening. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I mentioned that the Wizard of Yendor comes back. Eat my lizard corpse. 
you feel limber, so I'm no longer being stoned. That, that was a turn that I wish I could have killed the Wizard of Yendor. All right, but he didn't do anything. So at this point, no, I'm going to... I've only got 131 power left. I'm going to zap my Wand of Death. I what direction? That way. It misses it, but then it bounced and it killed him on the rebound. Okay, so i got some cleanup to do here. First of all, I'm blind because... don't know why I'm blind. Don't remember. Uh, but there is a cockatrice corpse right there because the lieutenant was holding it. And if I were to take my gloves off and step there blind, then I would turn to stone because I would feel it. Apply U. So now I can see. Apply C, 93. We still have priests that are not hurt at all. I'm going to step back to where the Wizard of Yendor was and see what he left me. He left me a magic lamp. Well, that was worthwhile. I know it's a magic lamp because I've already identified oil lamp. So I'm going to drop my lamp, DL, DL, and pick up E. Adjust P to L, because lamps always go in the L spot for me. And if you, I could zap identify to see there really was a magic lamp. But since I've already identified oil lamps, it's got to be a magic lamp, right? Magic lamps are good because you can get a wish. Or, this late in the game, I might not get a wish. I might just carry it with me and have a permanent source of light for the rest of the game, which is helpful. Okay, so... Good news is that big crowd of monsters is thinning out, and my power will come back here shortly. I'm trying to use just Magic Bane and do melee as much as I can here. Somebody else cast Summon Monsters. There's another Cockatrice. This one I'll kill next to me, so it'll be harder for... Uh, if somebody to pick him up and hit me. Now, my candelabrum is still lit. That's okay. I don't care. And the candles are burning up. I'm beginning to feel hungry. Maybe I can eat a giant corpse. Zap F that way. No chance of... Monsters appear around a spot near you. Who's casting this? I'm going to do Control P. It said oh, there's a Nalfeshni somewhere. That's probably him right there. He's cal calling summon nasties, and he's beginning to annoy me. Zap A that way. I don't know how hurt he is. There, he's dead. The Mind Flayer hits the purple worm. The Mind Flayer's tentacles suck the purple worm. Purple worm brain is eaten. Um, if the mind flare sucks the uh, brains of a zombie, the zombie doesn't notice. It's true. Okay, I'm not going to try and eat that corpse. I'm going to step up here and let the Oglify troll and the purple worm hit each other. Purple worms, worms are really good in a situation like this. Okay, disenchanter corpse. I thought there was a potion here. Ocean of Healing. And I'm actually going to read the scroll of Identify to verify that this lamp is a magic lamp. It's uncursed, so I'd have to bless it before I could get a wish out of it. But I'm not going to plan on doing that at this point. Mind Flayer's sucking the hill giant's brains. i got to be sure that he doesn't come up and suck my brains while I'm not watching. Hill giant is killed. Summon, somebody's summoning insects. Rapper. Another Nalf and she. Nalfishni. Nalfishni. 
they can uh, summon nasties, and I don't like that. All right. It's been fun. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm weak. Giant ant. Can you eat the corpse? I'm hungry. Let me get away from here and eat lunch. Eat. B. Eat B. Eat B. Eat B. Okay, I've eaten it all. Okay, now those guys will continue to rail on each other. I'm going to mostly ignore them. But this is a temple here with no door. Well, there's a hidden door somewhere. And surrounding the temple are fire traps. So there's a fire trap right below me where this wand of magic missile is. Okay, I had... This is a scroll. I oh, don't need it. I had two wands of... <sighs> secret door detection. I used up one. I'm going to zap... T and it will reveal all these traps, but it did not reveal the secret door. Zap V. Zap T. Didn't reveal it. I don't need enchant weapon. Zap T. Didn't reveal it. Zap T. There it is. Now I, I have to step on the fire traps to get through, but that's okay. I'm not carrying any potions or scrolls. I potions, scrolls, and spell books. I have the Book of the Dead. It happens to be fireproof. So, Tower of Flame, you're uninjured. Book of the Dead, close. I'm going to kick down the door and find the priest there. And he's going to tell me to get lost. Infidel, be gone. Okay. He's got the uh, Amulet of, of Yendor. Zap. F. That way. He's dead. If you attack him... You'll get zapped by lightning from heaven. But here, he's got the Amulet of Yendor and some spell books that I don't need. I'm going to name, not object, but item. And the item I want to name is W. What do you want to name this Amulet of Yendor? Re Whoops. <laughs> name item. Oh, name item. W is real. Okay, so now I know it's the real one. Let's see if there's any gain ability. My candles died. The only possible reason to quaff gain ability is to bump my strength up a little more. But let's get out of here. We've had enough fun. I'm not even going to look at all these corpses. I'm just going. I've got the Amulet of Yendor. I'm going to finish this video. Zap F. Oh, now when you cast spells, the Amulet of Yendor drains even more power than normal. So I can't cast as many spells as I might want. I do want to kill this Storm Giant, though, and eat him. Finished. And he left me three rubies. That box he probably picked up in the room. Okay. I'm heading back out to the main level. Yeah. All right. Okay. That ends my video. Number, was it four in the series or three in the series? Whatever. Of... Uh, this was the third video. Um, I'm heading back upstairs, and I'm going to leave it right here at the top of the stairs that go down to the sanctum level. In my next video, I will ascend, fight Rodney all the way up in the mysterious force, get to the top level, enter the astral planes, and or whatever they're called, and then hopefully find the on the astral plane itself. Uh, sacrifice the amulet. Thank you for watching this video.